All right. Um, so I am a, I am a little bit late with this press conference. Um, so I apologize. Uh, uh, people of the press, uh, please be seated and welcome to my virtual press conference. Uh, these um, questions will be asked by my um, colleagues. Uh, I know you can't see them. They're going to be, we are currently in a, a Zoom meeting and we will be asking the questions that way. Uh, so obviously, you know, uh, throughout this preparation phase of going uh, uh, against Miami on Sunday, obviously we got a lot of uh, uh, stuff to work on. You know, a lot of guys have made improvements uh, over this week. Um, uh, unfortunately, there uh, uh, there were some injuries, which is normal for this team. It's like I hate it, but anyway, um, I'll be more than happy to take some of your questions uh, in order. Uh, so, so how how are we gonna do this? How how are we gonna do this? Yeah, well, we yeah. Yeah, first question. We're going to start off with uh, Stephanie Jenkins, followed by Iko Fujimoto. Hi, Jim. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? You must be very happy to be back. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we live in strange times. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so my question for you is, uh, uh, how do you feel about your current roster, you know, especially with, with Cam being the starting quarterback? Um, uh, well, uh, like I said... Um, in uh, the first video of this year, I, I, I thought Cam um, uh, still had a lot left to prove in him. And, you know, he's very excited to start with this team. Um, and uh, so hopefully we can uh, get some, uh, hopefully he can get some good reps on Sunday. Uh, some positive reps, lots of yardage, uh, lots of touchdowns and no picks. Uh, but uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? Okay, Iko Fujimoto, followed by Mario Andretti. Hi, hi, Mr. Fujimoto, how are you? Jim, good to see you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, oh, my, my question for you is, uh, 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 what is your game plan? Uh, going up against uh, Brian Flores, uh, you know, Flores, you know, he, uh, he used to be with you guys uh, for some time, so. Yeah, so, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, Brian and Miami, you know, they know us really well, uh, especially Brian. Uh, he was our linebacker's coach for some years, and then he uh, uh, turned into our defensive coordinator uh, for, I think, uh, two or three years after we got rid of Matt. Um, so, um, you know, obviously, you know, last year with the 27 to 24, you know, obviously that was, that was a tough loss. Um, you know, uh, with Devante, I know they got Devante at receiver and, you know, Stefan had a little bit of trouble going up against him. But, uh, you know, I think Stefan's learned his lesson. Uh, I think he's, um, I think he's been practicing really well and, you know, how he is, you know, he is, he's always... Uh, you know, trying to get better each and every day, uh, improve his technique, watch film, do whatever he's got to do, improve his conditioning, his his uh, stamina, his conditioning, his strength, his speed, whatever whatever it's got to get done. So, um, uh, with Devante, um, uh, Devante's a really good receiver. I think he had 1,300 yards last year, and I think he had six touchdowns. So he went off last year, and... Um, you know, Devontae's a really good receiver. I think he's one of those underrated guys that you don't hear about much. You know, he's a, he's a big guy. I think he's 6'3", I think 220, so, or 215. But, you know, still, that's a, that's a tough guy. It's a pretty big guy to go up against. And, uh, you know, Stefan isn't too far off of him. He's about 6'1", but he's not as big in bulk as, uh, as Devontae is. So that's obviously a challenge for him. But uh, as far as going up against... Uh, uh, Miami as a whole, you know, we're, we're familiar with this team, and um, uh, we, we got a whole bunch of plans going up against Miami, so let's see uh, which ones are uh, which ones are the best ones, and we'll stick with that. Okay, thank you. Right, next we have Mario Andretti, followed by Dante Smith. Hey, Jim, how you doing here? Hey, Mario, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good here. 
right, so my, my question for you is, uh, 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 how do you feel or uh, how are you guys planning on attacking uh, the quarterback? Because uh, 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 Tua, Tua Tagovailoa, you know, he's not starting, which was kind of a shock. Uh, so, so how do you plan on uh, blitzing that O-line and going after Fitzpatrick? Yeah, so I think that's a good question. Uh, with the offensive line, um, <coughs> um, you know, uh, their offensive line, obviously, with the guards and the interior, it's 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 been a struggle for them for quite some time. Uh, the tackles aren't too good either. But um, their, I think their weak point in their offensive line, I think, is the interior. So I think if Lawrence and Adam can get inside and uh, stop the run game, and I think... Um, I think Jordan Howard, I think, actually uh, joined uh, the Dolphins. I might be wrong. I probably am wrong. But I think some nice running back, some skilled running back, I think, is on the Dolphins now. So um, I think Matt Breda, I think, is on the Dolphins as well from the Niners, who had an outstanding year a couple years ago. But, um, you know... You know, with Bill calling the shots on defense, you know, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that uh, because I think Bill knows what he's doing on the field, maybe not off the field. But um, <clears throat> but as far as on the field, um, I, I, I'm confident in Bill and his abilities to uh, uh, execute a game plan on defense and then with Josh on offense. I don't know about Josh, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So thank you, Mr. Fujimoto. But as far as, uh, or not Fujimoto, I'm sorry, Mr. Andretti, uh, as far as uh, uh, going after Fitzpatrick, that's that just goes back to, you know, blitzes and contained concepts, uh, maybe a little bit of QB spies if he wants to take off, so uh, we're just going to have to wait and see with that. Alright, Dante Smith followed by uh, Z Jiao Li. Hey, Jim, what's up, man? Hey, Dante, how are you? Hey. Uh, it's really good to be back, man. Uh, so my question for you is, if the players, uh, well, if there are some uh, substitutional issues going on, uh, you know, with this whole uh, coronavirus, you know, going on, uh, does that usually happen, uh, the substitutional issues on the field? Uh, well, uh, I think with the coronavirus, I think the players who have decided to uh, opt out of the season, you know, players like uh, players like Dante and Patrick and Marcus and uh, Marquise, you know, those guys, uh, I think that's that's already been taken care of. But as far as substitutional issues, yeah, yeah uh, you know, at times, you know, things happen and um, they get fixed uh, pretty easily. It's not too too bad of a hassle. But, uh, you know, you know, like they say, you know, shit happens and usually shit happens on the field regarding substitutions. Uh, and then, of course, you have the too many men on the field thing, uh, but that, that's that's no biggie. So, uh, yeah, we'll 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 work our we'll work uh, pretty hard at that. We'll try our best to not uh, make any errors regarding that. Okay. There we have uh, <coughs> Zhao Li followed by Eric Sampson. <clears throat> hard on, Jim. Hey, Mr. Lee. Why am I so tough on the defense? Are you kidding me, Mr. Lee? Well, here's the thing. The defense defense wins championships. I, I really try to stress this to the guys, especially a few years ago in the Philly season. I said, when are we going to fix this problem on defense when? And then the year after, or was it the Rams game? I think it was the, it was the Rams season. Because uh, last year we had a pretty goddamn good defense. I think we had the number one defense, didn't we? Right, right in front of San Francisco. Uh, obviously the run defense wasn't good because our defensive line sucks. And, and you know, I've, I've tried to make so many, uh, so many things with, with DeMarcus about that. And, uh, you know, DeMarcus Covington, you know, our, our defensive line guy, um, I, I, I don't know, but, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm so tough on the defense because I think the defense is more important than the offense, but, um, you know, at this point, the offense is, is going to have to shine this year, so. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. Oh, Corona, a little bit of Rona. I got it. <coughs> no, it's all right. We're good. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank you. All right, next we have Eric Sampson, <laughs> followed by Edward G. Robinson. Hey, hey, Jim. How you doing? 
Hey, Eric, how are you? Uh, so my question for you is um, just um, about <coughs> Josh Uche and just his uh, overall improvement throughout camp. <coughs> yeah, so Josh, Josh is, um, oh, Jesus. Josh is a, uh, Josh is a speedy guy who can get it right around the edge. I, I really think him and Chase could be a really good duo. Uh, so yeah, Chase, or, uh, Josh has been doing well in camp. Yeah, he's, he's been doing well. He hasn't been injured or anything. <laughs> And like I said, you know, I think him and Chase and maybe John, a couple other couple other reps, you know, I think would be good too. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how he works out with the uh, with the snaps that he's given. Okay, next we have Melissa Defanto, followed by Kurt Chang. Hello, Jim. Uh, must be very uh, must be very uh interesting with this whole virtual press conference yeah so okay yeah. Uh, my question for you is about jj taylor uh i've heard taylor you know he's a uh, only five six one eighty five so uh you know how do you plan on using him well i i think jj is um you know one of those guys who could be you know kind of like a Dion lewis um, cause we, we tried that with, uh, with Mike, uh, with Gillisley a few years ago and that didn't work out, even though in the first game he did exceptionally well, you know, three touchdowns. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think JJ, um, I think is a lot more sturdier than, than Dion was. Uh, but as far as the height, you know, I, I think he'd be a good guy to use in between the guards with Joe and, uh, with Shaq, um, you know, for him to just be this little and just... You know, linebackers are looking around for him, and then he, you know, just comes out and he bursts through the hole and gets a few yards downfield and gets into the secondary. I think JJ, I think JJ could be good at that and maybe catching a few, you know, balls in the backfield uh, because Damian, Damian's on IR, so which is terribly unfortunate for him. I don't know when he's gonna show up. Uh, that I don't know. So, but as far as JJ, he's probably just going to be another one of those Deion Lewis's with, you know, going through the tackles and the guards in between that. So. Okay, well, actually we have uh, <clears throat> Kurt Chang followed by Weston Fields. Yes, Chang, Mr. Oh, Chang. Uh, Kyle. Yes, uh, Chang, Mr. Uh, Chang. Uh, I crushed with Joy Edelman and throughout his whole career, you know, he caught 100 balls. A uh, hundred balls, uh, last year for another hundred yard. Uh, do you think that with Cam, that he can duplicate that last season? Yeah, I think, I, you know, I think that's a really good question, Mr. Chang. Um, so, um, the thing about Jules is that you can line him up anywhere on the field, put him anywhere, you know, in a position, you know, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever you got to put him as. And he'll deliver, and that's what I really like about Julian. So, hang on. <coughs> oh, a little bit of Rona. Yeah. A little bit of Rona. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. Uh. So yeah, I think Julian. I think as far as doing it with Cam, um, you know, that's that's kind of, you know, that might might that might come down to the uh the chemistry the chemistry that Jacoby and Tom had. Of course, they didn't really have much chemistry, so hopefully it won't turn out to something like that. But, you know, I think Jacoby can learn from Julian <laughs> as far as uh, as far as far catching the ball, uh, running after the catch, possession catching, aggressive catching. Even though Julian isn't too much of an aggressive catcher, he's more of a, uh, he's more of a possession guy, more of a uh, run after the catch guy, so... But I think you know can can Julian duplicate his season last year with Cam? You know that's that's I I just can't really look that too far into the future. I just want to look at it game by game, and I just want Julian to work as hard as he possibly can. And if he if he does work out, if it does work out that he has the same year as last year with Cam, that that, that I think that's great. So. Okay, we have the last question by Weston Fields. Hey, 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 how you doing, Coach? Um, hey, Weston, how are you? So, uh, my question for you is, is just, um, just your thoughts on the overall roster itself, who you, who you would have kept, who you would have released, and just your overall thoughts on that. Yeah, so, um, uh, I think, uh, I think the roster, I think, was just, for Bill, I think was just done based off of what was best for the team. 
you know, we all have our opinions on, you know, doing, you know, what 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 could be done if if we were in Bill's shoes and Robert's shoes with the draft. But um, <clears throat> I think um, I think Nikhil actually starting now. I think really gives him that confidence and uh, really testing him. You know, as to how much has he actually trained in the off season with his technique and his footwork and his uh, catching, his route running, uh, things like that. And uh, with 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 Cam and Jarrett, um, obviously we knew Cam was going to start over Jarrett. I mean, there was why would that require any suspense whatsoever? You know, I mean, so. <laughs> Uh, as far as the defense, you know, there were there were a couple of guys I would have kept, you know, like like Michael and uh, uh, for the offense I would have kept Sean and uh, uh, defensively I would have kept Dejon Harris. Um, so yeah, obviously there were there were a few guys, but you know we got Anthony Jennings from Alabama, so you know I, I really like him. You know I think he's our I think he was our best pick, and uh, but uh, we're just going to see how each and every guy delivers on the field, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. Last question is for me, Tim. Huh? Hey, Tim, you're asking yeah. questions too, huh? Look at uh, this guy. My question is, uh, just uh, what's your confidence level going into uh, Sunday, especially with Cam instead of Tom, you know, being under center and then the gun? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously it's going to be a lot different, uh, you know, with Cam. You know, we're not going to have that, you know, that Brady vibe as much. Uh, hopefully it won't break the team down completely, but uh, we're just going to have to go take it one game at a time. And, you know, each receiver will build up their chemistry with Cam, you know, throughout every game, uh, throughout practice and camp and uh, OTAs and uh, et cetera. So uh, hopefully, um, hopefully we can actually squeeze out a win because apparently Bill's uh, plan throughout this whole season now is to play outstanding defense and then... Um, to score just enough points offensively to win, which I think is just pussified. I don't think that's tough enough at all. I think that's way too conservative. Um, 28 to 3, there's your example. You know, 28 to 3. Scored just enough points to win? Well, it wasn't enough, because we came out with 34. So, you know, how I go with it is you just keep scoring no matter what. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. You keep scoring no matter what. No matter what. Because you never know in this league what could happen. <laughs> Alright, so thank you very much, guys, for this virtual press conference. Uh, it was an honor. Uh, this is, you know, like I said, we live in strange times. So this is what it's going to have to be like for the rest of the year. Um... I can't really do much about it. Uh, I'll talk to the guys, obviously not like this. I'm going to have them in the locker room and everything. So uh, I'll talk to the guys, and uh, we'll go from there. All right? All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <clears throat>